This is something that if it went out, I would immediately replace it. I do love you. That wasn't for show. <laughs> I mean it. Even though medical school is really expensive, there's not a ton of tangible objects that you actually need to buy. You have to buy a bunch of like third party softwares and then the obvious stuff like a computer. But I was really excited to see that the five things that I use almost daily for medical school are actually on sale for Prime Day 2022. Now all of these are useful and necessary in their own right, but numbers two and five are things that I use literally every single day and I'm always thankful for them. I always feel like they either make the experience more comfortable or they save a ton of time. Links for these items are gonna be in the description and whether you're a med student that's looking to make your life a little bit more convenient, a little bit more comfortable, or you're a pre-med student that's been studying for the MCAT through this channel, here are the five items that are gonna make your experience much more seamless. In no particular order, number one, is a tablet case with a keyboard. I use an iPad and I take it everywhere. And if you have one, you will be too. Most of your books are gonna be eBooks, so you'll be downloading the textbooks so that you can mark them up and you'll be carrying it back and forth to labs. So you wanna make sure that if you drop it, you don't have to go buy an entire new iPad. I'm not sure if anybody's told you or not, but we don't make a lot of money in medical school. Now you can get whatever case that you like. The only thing you really have to make sure you're mindful with is make sure that it is small enough so that you can fit it inside of a gallon Ziploc bag. I told you that you would be taking it into labs and what I really mean by that is that you'll likely be taking your iPad into a cadaver lab. So make sure that you can fit it into a gallon Ziploc bag with this case on. And I say go ahead and grab one with a keyboard attached to it just because they're essentially the same price for a lot of them. The one I've linked, there's nothing special about it except it's the one that I use and I picked it because is the cheapest. Number two, this is something that if it went out, I would immediately replace it, and that is a second monitor. I feel like such a dweeb being excited about a second monitor, but I use it all the time. I use it for studying so that I can have up multiple textbooks or doing research so I can have up, you know, Epic on one screen and then another database on another screen. I use it all the time, and whenever I'm studying at the school without a second monitor, I am always annoyed by the lack of a second monitor. So make sure you get one. It's really tough to find one for under $100, but with this Prime deal, you can get one for a good bit cheaper than that. So that's the one that I linked, it's the cheapest one. You don't need anything fancy because you're just gonna be pulling up textbooks on it. Third item on the list is a suture kit. And this is the one that I have. You don't have to have a suture kit. You really don't even have to learn how to suture until probably your M3 or your M4 year. But for me, it's one of those things that when I get asked to do it, I want to be able to do it professionally. I want to impress somebody with the skill. So I practice suturing every day for a couple of minutes. It's also just kind of a fun way to take a break and do something a little bit more active rather than even scrolling through a textbook. It gets kind of competitive just looking at a screen all day, but if you can sit down and actually do something, sometimes it breaks the monotony a bit. Now I like this specific suture pad because it comes with a mesh in the middle of it. It also has different colors that allow you to look for different layers of the skin. So I know there's a lot of sutures like in plastic surgery that are essentially only aiming for the dermis. So you can kind of practice for some of those by going for different colors. So this is probably the most fun item on the list, but the next one is the one that you should definitely buy. It's the best deal. And that is a Littman Cardiology 4 stethoscope. Will you have to use a stethoscope in your first year? Probably not. You probably won't use it in your second year. But a stethoscope is something that you are going to use and you wanna make sure that you have a good one. Anything Lipman is gonna be pretty decent quality, but if you talk to any doctor, they're going to tell you to spend the extra money and get the Lipman Cardiology 4. It has a wider chest piece and a deeper bell, so it allows you to hear things a little bit better. Um, and a stethoscope is not really going to break down. So it, even if you buy it because you find a good price and then you store it for a couple of years, it's still going to be functional. So. Lipman's are the best. Lipman Cardiology is the one that you're gonna to wanna to go with, and there is a great deal on right now. The next item on the list is my absolute favorite, and I guarantee you that you won't know what it is. So, drum roll. Do you know what it is? It's a controller for your Anki carts, because pushing a space button is just too hard. But seriously, this is a programmable controller that I program to work with my computer so that instead of 
having to smash my spacebar 700 times a day, I just click this button and it tells me that I got it right or I click this button if it's wrong or I click these two buttons if I want to review a card. So that's helpful for me in a few different ways. It's helpful because I don't have to be like right up on my computer the whole time. I also get a little bit worried about carpal tunnel by staying like that, but probably just nothing. I don't have to hit my space bar a ton, which I do worry about that thing breaking on my computer. And also I can just put my computer in more comfortable places and it even allows me to like get some flashcards done while I'm walking on the treadmill. So this is my favorite one. I love this thing and it's real cheap and it has been a game changer. It, it helps me go through flashcards faster. I've noticed that my time per card is like two seconds faster when I'm using this thing which is kind of crazy, but two seconds over the course of like what I do, like three to 400 cards a day. I mean, that, that really adds up. That'll save you a lot of time in the long run. So get one of these. If you get nothing else, um, this is a great tool. It's a little difficult to set up on the forefront, but once you get this thing set up, it's, it's just a whole new world. Now, this is definitely not an exhausted list of the things that I use when studying for medical school or what I used when I was studying for the MCAT, but it's a good start. You know, we spend so much time of our lives sitting in one place just studying that sometimes I think it's worth it to invest and make the experience a little bit more comfortable. If you can keep all your mental effort on your studying, it goes by a lot quicker. And if it's done quicker, then you can get on to doing the things in your life that you enjoy the most. Remember, studying and medical school are something that you do, not something that you are. Make sure to thumbs up the video which means to like it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments what else you grab for Prime Day.